Hey everybody, it's Scott the Steenroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you with the one and only Steenroller's free play of the day, taking a look at the NFL. But before we do that, I want to of course remind you to like the video, subscribe if, to the channel if you haven't done so already, and please let us know what you're playing in the comment section. Tell us what you've got picked out uh, for the NFL game. Maybe you got some baseball plays, whatever it is. Drop it in the comment section, you get them right. I'll give you the shout out, you get enough of them right, you'll be the camper of the day. We have a brand new cap for the day here at the end of the video, so stick around for that. And, of course, don't forget to check out winnersandwinders.com for deep dives into every game every single day with a special emphasis on the nationally televised games, the Monday night and the Thursday night games. You will find no deeper dive anywhere on the interwebs. So deep they require a table of content. So, a uh, quick recap of yesterday. We did hit the St. Louis Cardinals at uh, plus money, depending on when you, when you got down on that one. Uh, if you waited till game time, you might have got it even at uh, plus 160 or better. So congratulations there. Uh, full disclosure, you know what? It didn't go like I thought it would go. I thought Kim would be much better. Uh, he actually struggled, but we did get the part about Paddock right. Uh, he had been struggling lately, and he continued to struggle, giving up six earned in uh, less than three innings there in that game against St. Louis. So, uh, yeah, good hit for us. I uh, hope everybody got down on that one. Let's take a look in the... NFL, I guess if you can still call these two teams part of the NFL, is the 0-3 Broncos take on the 0-3 Jets. Whoo! Must be Thursday night, guys. Um, taking a look at the total here, 41 and a half. It's my surprise. I'm going to play the over. Uh, my premise for this game is very simple. Uh, I don't think either of these teams is going to be able to run the ball successfully. I think they're going to be forced to pass. Uh, for all these two teams to do wrong, they both play decent run defense. Uh, Denver is seventh in yards per carry that was allowed. And uh, they played two pretty good running teams. They played, uh, uh, of course, Tennessee with Derrick Henry. And they played uh, Pittsburgh with their kind of two-headed uh, attack there with uh, Snell and James Conner. So, um, yeah, the, the Denver run defense is legit. Uh, the Jets, they're 14th in rush defense. Not too bad at all. Uh, the Broncos, they have actually get Phil Lindsay back for this game. And I know they want to run the ball. I know they want to keep the pressure off of Brett Rippon. But I just don't think they're going to have a ton of success against this New York Jets team. I also think um, that the Darnold and the Jets are going to be throwing around the ball around the field all night long. Why? Well, first of all, Frank Gore is 67 years old. He's not going to get a ton of carries. I uh, had 20 carries last time, and uh, it's been a minute since he's had 20 carries two games in a row. Uh, the other gr gr great part for Darnold and the Jets is Jamison Crowder is back. Uh, he was his number one receiver last year. He'll be making his debut uh, after being injured for the first uh, few games there for the Jets. Uh, the Broncos, they don't do much to generate uh, pass rush. They've re recorded just four sacks on the season. You give Darnold time. You know, I've got to tell you, I went back and I watched Darnold uh, with his first three games. It's, yeah, he had his shitty moments, but he's not as bad as everybody thinks. He does have some skills. If you look at that first touchdown pass that he threw last week against Indy, he managed to break out of, break out of some pressure and uh, find his receiver in the end zone. Very, very fine job. Um, I think this one, I, I, the line to me also, guys, smells just a little bit. I, it feels like this one should be lower. I think they're daring us to take the under. I ain't falling for it. Uh, looks like the old banana in the tailpipe to me, kids. I'm going over 41 and a half in the Broncos and Jets game. So get down on that one with me. You guys can join me at the end of this game. Pick up our winning tickets just like we did yesterday, and we will head back to the window. All right, everybody, one more time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop us your plays in the comment section. Appreciate you watching, and uh, you know what? This has been so much fun. We'll just fire it up and do it all again tomorrow. All right, you guys take care. Good luck on all your plays, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.